coverage from inside and outside Lollapalooza. We begin with Roseanne Tejas with more on the safety plans in place. Roseanne. Well, I'll tell you, Erica, festival goers have had a great day so far. Only a few sprinkles, but there are plans in place. Still, a lot of people have waited all year for this, and they're not going to let the threat of thunderstorms ruin their party. The sun was shining when the gates opened for Lollapalooza 2017. Listen, if you guys need to me, okay? But veteran festival goers, like this woman dropping off these newbies, know it can turn in a minute. You bring a poncho and you, um, no umbrellas allow this here, so you just bring your poncho and you just hope for the best. And we actually have a meeting place if we um, get evacuated. You prepared for a lot of mud and maybe lightning and hail? Well, I have, you know, my bad shoes on. I have a poncho with me, so I'm kind of prepared in that sense. Other people downloaded the Lollapalooza app, so they'll be alerted if the weather turns and they need to evacuate. Video screens at the main stages and entrance will also alert you in the event that you need to take shelter. Plan to head to the Grant Park North, Grant Park South, or Millennium Lakeside garages. And you can look for blue and white signage posted to show you the way. Other reminders, no outside food or beverages, coolers of any kind, chairs, or selfie sticks. Most everybody who's planning to be at Lala tonight is already behind those gates. But if you are still heading out, you heard Steve, anytime after 7, there could be storms, so you want to be prepared. We found that most of the people we talked to, it's not their first time to the party, and they were pretty well prepared. Live outside the gates at Lollapalooza, Roseanne Teas, CBS 2 News. Erica? Yeah, at least that's good to know. Thank you, Roseanne.